When it comes to tree bark, there are a lot of misconceptions. Many believe bark is just dead wood and you can't hurt it, especially on older trees. Not so. Right under the outer bark is the phloem and cambium, where the lifeblood of the tree travels. Whether cut by mowers or weed whips, damage to these living layers is like cutting arteries and exposes the tree to disease. It's like it's Achilles' heel. Another misconception is that a wounded tree can heal itself. Indeed, a weed whack tree will try to heal, which is why we see such scarring at the base. But the cuts weaken the tree and many just can't recover. A third misconception is that adding mulch around a tree will prevent weed whip damage. Mulch is great for keeping moisture in, but it inevitably breaks down and grasses grow up through it, inviting the weed whackers. What can we do about it? The answer is simple. Physical protection. You can buy tree sleeves, which are great for small diameter trees. A cheaper strategy, which can work for larger trees as well, is to buy a mesh and create your own protection cylinders. Just make the tube larger than the tree to allow growth and secure it at the top, bottom, and middle with something that will withstand the elements, like a cable tie. You can mulch around the tree either before or after adding the protection tube. Just be sure to keep mulch away from the trunk to prevent damage to the bark. And know that mulch needs to be reapplied often. If you want it to last longer, you can lay down a barrier first, then add the mulch. But at bare minimum, at least get that trunk protector on. It only takes a few minutes, and it doesn't cost much. It could save hundreds of dollars in taxpayer money. Trees are expensive to plant and maintain. A dead tree is not only a big waste of money, but it adds CO2 to the air instead of drawing it in. Not a good thing. And it's easily preventable.